What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I'm back again today bringing you guys another Madden video here on my channel. And today, guys, we are going to be talking about the defensive end player ratings that were released today by EA Sports. They have the top five defensive ends listed on easports.com now for us to view. And guys, there are some controversial players on there, in my opinion. So let's take a look at the top six defensive ends, and we're going to be starting off here at number six with Muhammad Wilkerson. And it says that Muhammad Wilkerson specializes against the run due to his 96 pursuit, which ranks first among left ends, and 97 block shedding, which ranks second, along with his 96 tackling, which is also second. He can also rush the passer with his 89 power moves, which makes him fifth at the position. So Muhammad Wilkerson sounds like a pretty good defensive end overall. Now, of course, in Madden 25, we kind of preferred to have players that had the finesse move over the power move. So, you know, that might be a disadvantage. I'm not exactly sure if there's going to be that same type of uh, difference between the power move and the finesse move in next year's game. But, you know, for current purposes, based on what we know, that's not necessarily the best attribute to have is that that power move. We'd almost rather have the higher finesse move. So Muhammad Wilkerson, overall a pretty good card. He is 93 overall according to the ratings. Moving on now and we go on to Cameron Jordan who also is 93 overall. He is a defensive end for the New Orleans Saints. Now it says Cameron Jordan had a huge breakout year with the Saints in 2013 and his 95 power move which ranks second for right ends and 91 pursuit which is fourth were the big reasons why. So, what they're basically telling us here, again, is that power moves for some of these defensive ends are pretty high, and it's potentially going to be that maybe there's not so much of a drop-off between the players that are the finesse move defensive ends and the power move defensive ends. We might see more of these guys who uh, kind of more specialize. I, I hate to say that they're run stoppers primarily because that's not really the case, but maybe they're, they're not quite so focused on pass, uh, pass rushing. So maybe that's a potential thing that we should consider as a possibility for Madden 15 uh, and especially for the ultimate team because, you know, of course, all these players are going to have ultimate team cards as well. So moving on, and we actually are moving on to one of the biggest defensive players in the league, and that is Calais Campbell. He is 96 overall, so that's a three-point jump between uh, Cameron Jordan and Calais Campbell. And he is six foot eight, 300 pounds, and it says Campbell is obviously not the fastest defensive end in football, but is, he's a pro bowler because of his great all-around game, which includes 88 tackle, 94 finesse move, which ranks second for left ends, and 92 pursuit, which ranks fourth. So it's kind of interesting to me that they're bringing up pursuit so much because in in at least in Madden 25 Ultimate Team, I didn't really care too much about pursuit when it came to defense events, and that's not to say that it's a useless attribute by any means, but it, it's not quite as important, and the reason for that is because they're kind of right there on the defensive line, and they're either going to beat their guy or they're not. Their pursuit usually doesn't really translate that much because they're not kind of going at the guy at an angle. They're kind of going straight at him, typically. So. To me, I'm not really sure why they decided to bring that up. Potentially, maybe there's a change in the in the pursuit, or maybe EA is just trolling us and uh, telling us attributes that don't really particularly matter. But either way, Calais Campbell looks like a pretty beastly player at 96 overall. Moving on now to number three, and we are going up three overall. So a pretty big jump here between number four and number three. And we're moving on to Cameron Wake, defensive end for the Miami Dolphins. Definitely one of the best pass rushing defensive ends in the game. And EA's opinion on him goes as Wake still terrorizes NFL quarterbacks with his 97 finesse move and 95 acceleration on a weekly basis. Take advantage of his speed rush with the new jump snap mechanics. So if you guys have been watching the EA demos and, and uh, the gameplay footage that they have and things like that, they have kind of showed that off a little bit. It's going to be interesting to see kind of how it actually goes into the game, but that could help players like Cameron Wake and the other speed pass rushers in the game. Now, Cameron Wake, of course, still has his issues, I'm assuming, and uh, he's not too good against the run. He definitely wasn't very good against the run in Ultimate Team in Madden 25. Uh, his strength was kind of mediocre, and his block shedding was pretty bad, especially for a card that was as high overall as his. So against the run, he was kind Kind of a, a piece of junk but as a pass rusher it doesn't get much better than this and uh, i definitely expect that cameron wake is going to be an absolute beast in madden 15. 
Moving on to number two now, and we are going to take a look at the guy who was one of the absolute best pass rushers in the league last year. He is a monster. I've been waiting for him to break out since he came into the, into the league a couple of seasons ago, and that is, of course, Robert Quinn at 97 overall. He's the defensive end for the St. Louis Rams, and it says with 84 speed and 95 acceleration, both rank first among right ends, of course, and 97 power moves, which is also first. The Rams' Robert Quinn might just be the best player that most fans have never heard of outside of St. Louis. Now, EA, come on. I know a lot of people who play Madden haven't heard of some of the players, but I hope that pretty much everybody who plays Madden has heard of Robert Quinn. I, obviously, he's not Peyton Manning and he's not Adrian Peterson or Calvin Johnson, but seriously, if you haven't heard of Robert Quinn at this point, I don't know if you even watch football. Uh, I mean, how could you have possibly been watching football and, and not heard of Robert Quinn? That, that just blew my mind when I read that. I was like, what the hell are they talking about? Everybody should have heard of Robert Quinn. If you haven't, for whatever reason, go look up highlights. This guy was an absolute monster last year on a team that was pretty bad overall. He made he and Chris Long together made the St. Louis Rams defense very, very good. They were not a bad defense at all, especially if you consider the fact that they were on the field so often, or so often because that offense was just god awful most of the year. Um, they missed their quarterback, of course, and although Zach Stacy was a decent running back, they were really bad on offense uh, so it really hurt their defense overall but Robert Quinn was still an absolute animal he was definitely one of the best pass rushers in the league last year and uh, could certainly be one of the best pass rushers in the league this year so it makes sense of course that he's 97 overall uh, possibly a little bit high on the ratings uh, uh, overall but it, you know of course you know, they're going to have their high ratings in Madden. That's just kind of the way that it is at this point. There's not really much that you can do to argue it. So if there's going to be a 97 overall defensive end, I'm glad that it's Robert Quinn because he had an absolute monster year last year. But now it is time to move on to the number one defensive end as we head into Madden 15. And I'm sure you guys aren't really surprised by this. I wasn't surprised at all. It, it makes all the sense in the world and it's completely legitimate at this point. Number one defensive end in the game, 99 overall, J.J. Watt, Houston Texans defensive end. And here's what it says. It says, I think J.J. Watt knew exactly what he was doing when he chose number 99, as it was a prediction of his own Madden ratings. 99 power moves, 99 overall, 98 block shedding, 97 tackle. If we didn't have a cap on it, Watt might be rated somewhere north of 105 overall. And, you know, that kind of cracks me up because it, they bring up a very good point, which is that not all 99 players in Madden, and especially in Ultimate Team, of course, are created equal. So just because you see a 99 overall player potentially down the road, that doesn't necessarily mean that he's just as good as J.J. Watt. Watt's got those attributes that would certainly put him over the, the 99 overall rating, like they said, potentially up to 105 overall if it was not capped at 99. So my goodness, J.J. Watt, uh, it seems to me that he is going to be an absolute terror. And if you consider the fact that they've also got Jadavion Clowney on that defense, the Texans might be a team that people try out. I mean, obviously, they're still pretty rough at the quarterback position and uh, some of the other uh, defensive positions overall. But man, you can get after the quarterback if you've got Clowney and J.J. Watt. So they might be a fun little team to be if you're not playing Ultimate Team and you're just playing your standard head-to-head -head games. I think a lot of people might be trying out the Texans because of that, especially with all these new defensive features. So, you know, it's potential. There's potential for the Texans in Madden, I think. So with that being said, guys, that is going to do it for this video. These are the top defensive ends in the game. It says top five defensive ends, but technically it's top six because there are six. And I'm assuming that that's because there were two 93 overall defensive ends in Cameron Jordan and Muhammad Wilkerson. But you guys got a little bonus there. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you press that like button. And also, guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to press the subscribe button because I'm doing plenty of Madden content still. I have some really great stuff coming up over the next couple of weeks that I think people are going to be pretty excited about. So don't sell off your Madden teams yet, your Ultimate teams, if you're an Ultimate Team player, because I think that you might be interested. Little hint there. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.